All right, so here we go. We got a brand new update straight from CD Projekt Red about what is going on with the Cyberpunk expansion now due for early 2023. I know I was really hoping that this would be releasing fall 2022, but that is not happening. But you know what? I want them to take their time with this one and nail down that first expansion. So yeah, we got a brand new update from CD Projekt. They updated their group strategy and laid out their plans for Cyberpunk 2077 and basically all of their franchises. We're gonna take a look at this in depth and also how Unreal Engine 5 is going to be changing the CD Projekt Red landscape for sure. But let's take a look at this post right here from the official social media page for Cyberpunk. It says this, as it was mentioned in the CD Projekt Financial call moments ago cyberpunk 2077's upcoming expansion will arrive in 2023 please stay tuned for more details coming later this year so it seems like i'm assuming that's going to be early 2023 it looks like to me hopefully not later than spring of course uh but yeah i'm come kind of like torn about this it's bittersweet for me personally because i wanted to see it in fall 2022 but then again i think to myself I want to spend some time with Starfield. That's just my way my brain is thinking right now. I know Starfield is going to absolutely take over. I just know that for a fact. So honestly, I think CD Projekt Red probably realizes that as well. And they're like, you know what? Let's get out of the way of Starfield. Take our time. Really make this into a meaningful expansion and release something that's absolutely amazing that's going to make people's jaw drops at least i hope that's his assessment but then we have this one right here from palace hasco he says i know it's a bit of a wait my dears we want to make sure it's properly crafted for you and that's what i want to hear i want this to be a release that just puts cyberpunk on the map honestly then we have some comments from the community stacy says take all the time y'all need for the expansions i know 2023 is not going to be easy to wait but this definitely gives more time for more big patches and hot fixes to have cyberpunk more fixed this is one game i want to really enjoy playing non-stop hopefully story dlcs soon and yeah we have even more comments here some disappointment from you all it says two years later after release of the game i hope it's good as blood and wine and adds an option for third person gameplay or cutscenes. yeah you know a lot of people really want to see that third person in cyberpunk and again they are are hiring for third person camera programmer which is really really interesting but yeah a lot of support for from the community saying take your time on this game take your time on the expansion as you can see right here and you know i totally agree at this point i love cyberpunk so much i don't want it to go wrong then we have this slide right here which gives us some details about their production plans for 2022 they're going to be uh continue development work on cyberpunk expansion you'll notice that is not plural we're doing one expansion at a time and i think we're going to see how the first expansion does then we have development work on a new witcher game based on unreal engine 5 that's beginning right now further support for cyberpunk 2077 but i was wondering hey that is so vague we have no roadmap whatsoever. What does that mean? Further support for Cyberpunk 2077. Well, thankfully in the actual video uh, we have right here, they go on to say, we're working on further DLCs as well as a major expansion featuring a new storyline. So more DLCs, I'm assuming that's free content is coming on top of the expansion that we are expected to get uh, for Cyberpunk. So hopefully 2022 has some content for Cyberpunk, but again, they're being so vague with anything in terms of nailing down an actual roadmap, which I personally do think is kind of disappointment. disappointing. Then we have this one here. It's a development work on the next-gen version of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Again, that has been delayed as well. Development work at the Molasses Flood on an unannounced project based on one of our franchises. They still won't tell us whether that is going to be The Witcher or Cyberpunk, uh, but that one's definitely interesting we'll see what that game ends up being but it's going to be either a cyberpunk game or a witcher game and it looks like to me it's going to be having multiplayer components to it based on job listing so could be a definitely interesting game for sure then we have this it says launch of a spinoff to gwent the witcher card game some of you might be curious about that further support for gwent and the witcher card game and the win witcher monster slayer conceptual and research work on an unannounced projects plural so they are doing r d research right now on some sort of unannounced project and i'm so curious to see what that could be you know there's also some hints that that one of those projects is another cyberpunk project so it to me looks like in the fire right now they're cooking up 
a lot of cyberpunk stuff because they know how well this game sold. In fact, here's an update about that one. 18 million plus copies sold to date up to April 2022. That's really impressive for a game that struggled. Then we got some updates about the Witcher franchise here. 65 million plus copies sold, including 40 million of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt right there. So really, really impressive numbers. But overall, man, the cyberpunk numbers really are super impressive again considering the launch problems that they had now we got to talk about this one you know one thing that they have been very open about is that they are moving on they're going to be supporting unreal engine 5 for their game engine instead of using their own technology which was known as the red engine 2 but yeah they're uh, continuing their partnership with epic games i'm so curious to see where this goes this to me is by far one of the biggest things they're doing at CD Projekt Red is working with Epic Games. And also they confirm this right here, uh, they are going to be having all future projects using Unreal Engine. So that seems to be confirmed. So when we're talking about Cyberpunk 2, a Cyberpunk sequel to 2077, just assume that they're gonna use Unreal Engine 5. That just makes a lot of sense. Now, speaking about Cyberpunk stuff, we got stuff outside the realm of gaming. We have Cyberpunk Edge Runner, the Netflix series, which I am so curious about. Um, I want this to be on the level of Arcane. I know that's asking a lot, but man, can you imagine something like Arcane for Cyberpunk? Dude, I would be absolutely thrilled if that happened. But we'll see. They have a great studio backing that project. I cannot wait. Uh, for that one here that one should be happening i believe later 2022 by the way uh so yeah also they are exploring new areas at cd project this kind of worries me but hopefully it works out good we have this one that they're exploring uh of course the mobile sector which a lot of you guys are gonna ro uh, roll your eyes about this one but they have a first ever mobile game the witcher monster slayer releasing here in july 2022 trying to remember the dates for you all but yeah you know i did see by the ratings for that game it did go into some sort of uh test phase at one point it was actually well received now the announcement itself was not well received just because it was off of the bad launch of cyberpunk 2077 but i think that if cyberpunk had nailed its launch that people would have been more accepting of a mobile game but now they're in kind of a weird spot with that one but yeah we'll see how that one turns out let me know if anyone actually tried i think it was an alpha or close beta or whatever happened i never got the chance to try it but i think i'm gonna try uh this mobile game when it finally releases here in july let me know if anyone at all in the comments is excited about that uh but yeah we'll also be finding more about the uh cyberpunk expansion later this year if you missed that so we're gonna get more details about that one i was hoping we'll get more details in summer they did confirm that they're gonna have another update for us in may so we will be hearing about more stuff i don't know exactly what it will be if it will be specifics but it's going to be related to earnings uh for the first quarter of i believe it's 2022 all right, so now it's time for your top comments. Let's do this. My most recent video is this one right here. CD Projekt Red just made a big decision. That is great news for the expansion. Yeah, you know, they delayed the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt next-gen version, I guess indefinitely, until they give, it, give us a firm release date, which in my opinion is great because they're gonna have more time to really explore Cyberpunk's expansion. But anyway, check this out right here. We have, let's see, how do you say this one? something something the archangel the archangel david says i want them to focus on storylines based on your class choice for the dlc it would be nice to see that means something in this game i want more romance options too yes uh life paths would be nice as well joey p says definitely more single player content there's so many unused areas in the game that just makes you scratch your head wondering i wonder what's going on over there the unique quests characters and storylines is already engaging enough and if they keep up with the quality story expansions it'll for sure keep us fulfilled after wanting more beyond the base game ending i agree i just want them to focus on this storyline narrative single player expansions that's what i want 86 wheezy says i would rather they completely forget online yes and just produce more single player content it's a brilliant game it just needs more content and things to do will they actually do this I don't know. My my assessment is I doubt it. 
The GTA Online money is too luring for these companies, trust me. <sighs> but anyway, we have this one right here. Necro Cosmopolitan Con <laughs> says, I really want to see more single player expansions and not multiplayer. So a lot of people saying no multiplayer. Uh, Restored Data says, I can say most of us want expansions for Pacifica, the casino. Yeah, that would be cool. Arasaka Waterfront, Spaceport, and Space Station. With all the official announcements, I'm keeping an open mind. You know, I never really heard many people mention the casino. That would be very, very cool to see something like that. But I want to see where you can actually run like illegitimate businesses through fronts or something like that. Man, I love that sort of thing. I just keep going back to the Godfather with that sort of stuff because it adds so much to the actual city when you implement an economy you can kind of like take over block by block that's something that i just love willie wally b says there's a lot they can do but one major thing i want is then to open up the city there is so much potential for this game to truly flesh out the game to an unseen level and you know what i think cd project red agrees with you i really really do zane harris says cyberpunk in its current state is good but it needs to become great I hope we can get four expansions, maybe something with Morgan Blackhand or Mr. Blue Eyes would be great. If they keep adding E3 content and restore promise content, they could pull a No Man's Sky situation off. Yeah. Again, you know, they are set up to have major success with this franchise. There are so many people rooting for Cyberpunk 2077 right now. But yeah, there it is, everyone. The latest happenings around cyberpunk 2077 and we got some new updates about what's going on kind of with like unreal engine 5 the witcher and things like that but yeah stay tuned for more i have you guys covered thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all next time take care